hello guys it's carrier welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video i'm so excited for this video i have wanted to do this video for like months i just never had the motivation or the courage to do it but today's video is booktubers pick my next reads literally yesterday evening i was like i need to do this like i have to do this i have to try it is Friday, the 22nd of September. I'm doing this on a Friday, so it's easier for me to read over the weekend. I can like stay up to read late. I texted like a bunch of booktubers on Instagram to help me pick my next read. The first reply is by Ella Rose Reads. I'm gonna link her channel down below and I'm gonna like put it on the screen because I absolutely love her videos so much. She is a booktuber from England, which is amazing because most booktubers are from America. So it's like nice to see someone from your country, basically. The first video I ever watched was like a book shopping video and I loved it so much. Like I binge watch all the videos over and over again because I love them so freaking much. And they just motivate me and also motivated me to like actually start doing YouTube because I've wanted to do it for a while. I just could never bring myself to do it. But like she motivated me to do that. So Ella, Ella Rose, her name is so pretty also like, okay. So she's the first one to reply back to me. The book she picked is Powerless by Elsa Silva. This is the third book in the Chestnut Spring series. And I literally just read Atlas, which is book two at the start of this month. I'm quite excited because I couldn't decide what book to read. And I've wanted to read this for so long. I'm so glad you picked this book because i love the series so far it's so good i didn't know i could be into cowboys like that also this guy is not a cowboy he's actually an hockey player but yeah this book is about jasper and sloan and i'm just excited to see how this story goes because we've had like little snippets of them from like the other books like just little crumbs and i had the crumbs up so i'm so excited to read the own book like finally read the own book so this is the first book I'm going to be reading in this vlog, Powerless by Elsa Silva. Thank you so much, Ella Rose, for picking this book. And I'm so excited. I really hope I love this book because I love the other two in the series. Also, look at the cover. That's so pretty. I'm going to start this book today and I hope I get it done before the end of the weekend. <laughs> guys a little update on this book i am only on page one of five so i feel like i can't have that much opinion because the book is 456 pages long why do i know it that's very specific i know why do i know that anyway so i feel like we've barely scratched the surface and the story is just starting because it hasn't really gone deep like the romance hasn't started yet well, I'm actually quite liking it so far because I feel like I love the slow burn. Is it a slow burn? I feel like it is. I'm going to literally spoil it for myself, but I don't want to do that. Never in my life have I thought I'd be reading books about cowboy. Even though the guy is an hockey player, but he's a cowboy, okay? not gonna die because the fifth book is about him and you can't make a book about a dead man but i'm gonna eat and then i'm gonna get back to reading so guys i finally finished 
Powerless by Elsie Silva literally last night because today is Sunday 24th September and I started it on Friday and I finished it yesterday I'm so glad I read it I love this book okay honestly I have loved every single book in this series so far so I feel like it makes sense that I like it and I'm just gonna give you like my thoughts about it this book is friends to lovers and there is a little bit of an age gap in it for you really should such trigger warning just in case because it touches a lot on like anxiety and like traumatic events so like you definitely watch out for those sloan has had a crush on jasper since like the first time she saw him he just never returned that feeling but he actually quite liked that and i love this book so much this is gonna be a 4.5 star atlas which is book two is still my favorite from this series so far and also i'm so bad with recording so i did not record me reading this book a lot and because i read at like the most awkward time and i can't just like whip out my phone and start recording because it's like so random but i'm gonna try to be best with the next books i read i'm gonna try to record those ones more also jasper is like closed off to everyone nobody else understands him nobody can get a read on him except sloan she understands him he shares things with her that she, he doesn't share with other people i think that's absolutely like so amazing they tell you everything you know even if they don't tell it to other people because they trust you so much i absolutely love the banter in this book like there was some part of this book that made me literally laugh out loud She's so funny, like this book is funny and it's light, it's fun. I wouldn't say it's light, but it's fun. And it's just super easy to read and absolutely adore this book so much. And the relationship, I love this book so freaking much. And if you're thinking about reading this series, this is your sign to you. go ahead and read it. And I love the way the two of them like talk about their feelings and the way it came to light and them getting together. I feel like it's also like a slow burn. It's a slow burn and I love a good slow burn, okay? Also, I love their little road trips. It just makes them, them. I think the road trip bit of the book, it's so good. And I absolutely really like this book. I really enjoyed reading it. As like I said, I'm gonna rate it a 4.5 stars. I love the character development and how Sloan grew into herself, like how she became her own person, the strong woman she is, how she doesn't, she stopped like listening to what everyone is telling her to do and start doing things for herself because she wants to do them, not because she was told to do them. And then that's that for the first book in this video. Fourth Wing is the next book I'm going to be reading in this video. This book is so popular on TikTok. It is very popular that two of the booktubers I texted they picked for twin and that just shows how popular the book is and expected because this book is such a popular book and i have very high hopes for this book the two youtubers who picked fourth wing are just ali and books with jb oh my gosh i love just ali i love her videos so much and i just love her vibes i literally love them they're literally the queens of booktube and i'm so happy they responded to me and participated in this video. Fourth Wing is a fantasy book and it involves dragons and a war college. It's like be able to like ride a dragon to survive, I think. Basically, honestly, don't really know what's about. I just know everyone loves it. It's got like over 400 pages. So this is the next book I'm going to be reading in this vlog. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Also, Ella Rose did also make me excited to read this book because i saw it on a story and like a new video she read for Wing in that video and our reaction just makes me want to read it more and, and i'm not the biggest fantasy reader to be honest i've only read like two or three fantasy books i'm a romance reader like that's more of my niche well thank you so much to you ali and julia for picking my next read i am so excited to read this book and i really hope i enjoy reading this book i'm gonna link every like single person channel down in the description box just in case you don't know about them and you want to check them out because i think it'll be kind of fun because i love their videos so much guys know this but like fantasy books always comes with like a map which i think is so cool even though i never actually really use the map while i'm reading but i just think it's nice to have the map while you're reading just you know it's there if you in case you want to go back to it to check or something but i'm so excited to start there
one of my most anticipated reads. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this so far. Oh, there is another map. <gasps> oh my god. Guess what? It says, a dragon without its rider is a tragedy. A rider without a dragon is dead. There is like a sound on TikTok about that that is literally going viral. And I think that's super cool that it's included. Like, it's from the book. I love that. Okay, I'm starting chapter one now. Oh, they're 20 years old, so they're not teenagers. Okay, that's a good start, I think. The girl's name is Violet, and we've just met Mira, which is a sister. So she's 20, and her sister is 26. So there's a six year difference. I don't know. If anyone needs that information, I'm gonna like read a little bit and then I'd come back to give you guys like my thoughts on it so far. It's a brother. The died fighting the Tyrish rebellion in the south. Um, a brother and his dragon. I'm actually kind of excited to like finish this book. It's something interesting so far. I mean, I'm only six pages in, I haven't read the chapter, so I'm making a reading vlog. Oh, I am supposed to be dedicating my life to books, not throwing them in the corner to life in my rucksack. Aren't you barely twice the weight of the pack? You will fall, you will die now. Are you going to lose this one? Are you going to join the other day? Candidate at tomorrow's roll call. I finished reading fourth wing literally last night and I want to give you like a little bit of my review I have so much thoughts about this but I genuinely can't think of any right now I think I'm gonna like write them down and then I'll come back to give you like a full review but for now this book is a five star read like if you're thinking about reading this book just do it I love this book so freaking much it's literally one of my top five reads of this year so far and also started the Akuta series I feel like it's better than Akuta that's just like my opinion but honestly I have only read two books in the Akuta series so I can't really say much but I love Zayden and Violet so freaking much and I love that Zayden's nickname for Violet is Violence that's just freaking cute and oh my gosh there is a betrayal in this book like towards the end i honestly kind of saw it coming i knew it was gonna happen i hate that character so freaking much like i knew 
that was gonna happen i had a feeling there was gonna be some sort of betrayal like it was expected but like i was still shocked when it came and also the last page left me with my jaw dropped my mouth was like open i was like what the hell just happened like i need to book to asap i had no plan to pre-order iron flame which is booked to do this book but after i read this book last night literally like five minutes later guess what i was on amazon pre-ordering iron flame i actually love this book so much and i saw a tiktok that says this is gonna be a five book series and i'm actually so excited who knew i'd be reading a book about dragons and actually enjoy it i would have never thought i'd enjoy a book with dragons but i love it so much i love violence character development she became like stronger became her own person did things for herself and even though like people are like you can't do that like you're not strong enough you're fragile you're brittle you're weak She's like, no, she proved them all wrong. Also, she, a signet power, absolutely amazing. And a dragon, I love a dragon so much. I don't want to put a spoiler in it, but I freaking love a dragon so much. He's so sarcastic. Love, love, love him. If there is anyone out there that doesn't like this book, stay away from me, at least 50 feet away. Step back because this book is amazing and I'm ready to reread it. I annotated and I don't really annotate that much. I only annotate certain books, like if I really, really like the book, then I'm gonna annotate it. This is a romance I see. I love the romance aspect and I love the non-romance aspect. Fourth thing is probably gonna be my personality for like a month. Cause I don't think I can get this book out of my head cause I love this book so freaking much. It's amazing and it's super, easy to read once i started i couldn't stop reading like i binge read over 200 pages yesterday and it just gets straight into the point so there isn't a lot of word building i mean there is a little bit but like not too much i feel like everything was like a moderate amount it's entertaining to read the author like did so well with this book I this book is not over hyped for no reason it's what the hype if you're thinking about reading it and I think you should read it. Anyway, that's my thought about this book for now. I'll be back when I have more thoughts. That is the second book I have read in this video. So guys, that is the end of this video. And the two books I read in this video are Powerless by Elsa Silva and Fourth Wing. And I love this book so freaking much. And although I'm reading a third book, I'm not going to put it in this vlog. I'm going to put it in a separate vlog because I want to do like a full reading vlog on that particular book. And the book is like 700 pages long, so it's gonna take a while. Anyway, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notification. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.